Hello, welcome to NLP Birthing TV, sponsored by SWAT TV, the number one personal development channel. You can see SWAT TV at www.swat.tv. In this download, I'm going to be talking a little bit about the key issue of pain, or more to the point, unbearable pain. It's got to be and is one of the key fears for any first time mother and any second time mother who had a bad experience first time round. You hear horror stories all of your life. You never hear a woman turn around and go, oh, I gave birth, that yeah, was all right. You always hear stories of, I was, I was in pain for 20 hours, I had 50 hours, they cut me. You always hear horror stories about blood, guts, gore, the whole nine yards. Okay, so it's little wonder that you may be feeling a little bit nervous if it's your first birth, and if it's your second birth, and you had a bad time the first time, then you've got a reason to feel a little bit worried about it. So, why do people have pain? No animals do. You see animals on all of the different nature programs, almost every mammal on the face of the planet's been giving birth for hundreds of thousands of years. Whenever you see them on the TV, you don't see them puffing and panting and screaming for an epidural, do you? You only see that with women. In fact, tribes women, you see um, in documentaries giving birth relatively fuss free. And there are many women in the UK and in the developed world who also give birth relatively fuss free. So what is the difference between a woman who has a good time and a woman who has a bad time? And to answer that question, you've got to look at fear and the physical and psychological effects of fear on the body. It's quite simple. When you see, um, say, a antelope giving birth on a nature program, the antelope is relaxed simply because when you're giving birth, you will have a massive amount of a chemical called serotonin, which are your natural endorphins, your feel-good, happy chemicals. You'll also have a chemical called oxytocin. And oxytocin is a hormone that regulates giving birth. It regulates the contractions and makes sure everything goes according to plan. Now, you have one other hormone predominantly present. Your body is on standby to release large quantities of adrenaline. You see, if we think back to that deer, when the deer is giving birth and it looks relaxed, that is because it has large amounts of serotonin in its brain, which is a natural endorphin and painkiller, works in a similar way to morphine. It's giving birth naturally without thinking about it and without having to push because it has large amounts of oxytocin in its body. However, if that antelope is in danger at any point, its body needs to be able to stop the process of giving birth so it can run, protecting it and its baby. It needs to stop the baby coming out. Now, in order to do that, the body would release adrenaline. The second that that antelope's in danger, it will release massive amounts of adrenaline. Adrenaline not only supercharges the antelope, it instantly engages the antelope's fear response, tightens all of the muscles, and stops the birthing process straight away. So, if you hear of a lady who has had uh, a painful long labour, you can guarantee that she had higher quantities of adrenaline in her system. One of the things that I do whenever I work with anyone is literally write a big list of everything that you're scared of, everything that you're nervous, and we work through them straight away. It's, it's the easiest and fastest part of the whole program, and it's also the most liberating part of the whole program, because then you can get on and enjoy the rest of your pregnancy without any nerves at all. Now, as soon as that's done, it means that you can actually go into labour without any of those fears. If you go into labour without any of those fears, you don't release adrenaline. If you don't release adrenaline, you give birth quickly, easily and calmly. Also, I might add, if you're not releasing adrenaline, you'll be free to experience the natural endorphins your brain's releasing, which is similar to morphine. So, thereby, you feel comfortable and you feel very little, if any, pain. In fact, you feel euphoria all the way through. Thank you very much for watching.